Welcome to another episode of Run Level Zero. I am your host, Ennit Zero. Well, boys and girls, you may have noticed, or you may not, I took down my Remaster Sys video. That's because I want to make sure that my channel only reflects the most accurate, up-to-date information at any given time. And since making that first video, there have been several significant developments uh, in regard to Remaster Sys, so I wanted to bring you this update. In my first video, I mentioned that Remaster Sys was coming to a close. The developer decided after seven years that it just wasn't worth keeping up anymore. I'm sure that he had his reasons. But I was urging people to get the the download and install it while it, while it was still available. Since that time, the source code has been purchased by the OS 4 team. OS 4 is actually a very good Linux distribution in and of itself and they're re-tagging it as System Imager. Now they've taken it over, they've made a few modifications and in my opinion the new OS 4 System Imager is actually faster than the original Remaster Sys. I've run it on my new system here and it, it, it created the Live CD and the ISO in about half the time that it took Remaster Sys to work. Now I don't know if that's just running it on a new system or if the OS 4 team has actually done some significant tweaks in the background but for whatever reason this one is working faster and it's a lot easier to install. You simply go to the system imager, OS 4 system imager website and I'll link this in the description below. You're going to go to the downloads tab and you're going to click download system imager. Now this will redirect you to SourceForge and once there you're going to go to browse all files. There are two files you're going to need to download. Go ahead and click into the remaster sys directory, the latest version. Now you'll be given three options here. The one you're going to have to install regardless is a remaster sys 3.04-2 all.deb. This is the base remaster sys install. So you're going to have to click and download that. And then depending on whether you're running a 32 or 64 bit system, you're going to want to install the appropriate GUI, the i386-deb for a 32 bit system or the AMD64-deb for a 64 bit system. This is much easier because it's going to download the Debian files. Now this is going to run on any Ubuntu or Debian based system. And once that's downloaded you just simply open up the directory you downloaded it to, double click the dev file and follow the directions for your uh, installer GUI. It's a snap. Once installed the remaster sys is typically located within the system settings as you can see we have it here, Remaster Sys. Clicking it, you'll be prompted for your password. It does require elevated privileges to run. And you're, great, you're greeted with the old Remaster Sys GUI. Again, it's very customizable. You can create a backup of your, of your current operating system. Now remember that the ISO that's going to be generated is limited to 4 gigabytes in size. So if you have a bunch of virtual machines or a lot of videos, that sort of thing. The backup may not work for you. You may have to clean up your system a bit. You can create a distribution, a live CD, similar to the Ubuntu or Debian live CD that you can try on your system and it'll include an installer. If you choose this option, just be sure that you haven't logged into any of your personal websites, your Gmail, you don't have your, your home network uh, credentials stored on your system because if you create a distribution all of that information will be carried over to a live CD and you don't want to distribute that information. So if your goal is to create a, a new distribution based on Ubuntu or Debian that you are going to share, I suggest you do a clean install and avoid logging into any networks, avoid logging into any websites or online online accounts just so you don't accidentally give away some of your personally identifiable information. Now the good thing about this, you can get a 
operating system installed, uh, customize it the way you want with, with your personalized choice of applications, create a backup and then save that using multi-system. I did a, a, a review and how-to on that in a previous video. You can look that up. But you can use multi-system to create a li customized live CD that you can take your personal desktop with you wherever you want or if you happen to crash your system you can recover it very easily. You can customize your ISO with a custom splash image, grub image, a custom Plymouth if you would like. That's the splash screen you see when the uh, when, as the OS boots and there are several that are pre-installed or you can customize your own. Um, you can copy your user settings into the Etsy scale file or Etsy scale folder so that uh, you can customize what new user accounts on your, syst on your system will have. Uh, wallpapers, desktop shortcuts, that sort of thing is all customizable under user settings. And you can customize the settings for the CD itself. Give it a, a custom name, a custom location, that sort of thing. Clearing Working Folder does just that. It clears out previous runs. And if you have any errors that, that are given, you can check them out in the log here. Once you run Remaster Sys, it will generate a new folder under the home directory called Remaster Sys. This is the working directory. And when your ISO is generated, you can see I've already created one from my Linux Mint. It'll be located there for you to grab and you can customize. Really neat thing about it is it generates an MD5 sum for your ISO as well. So if you want to post it someplace like SourceForge, you can also post the MD5 sum with it so that users, after they download your, your custom ISO, they can check to see whether the file was corrupted or tampered with. I'm really excited to see Remaster Sys get this new breath of life. I hope you check it out. It is an application that is certainly worthwhile. It can make your life and, and backups much easier. And creating a custom distro, even if it's for your own personal use, is something very fun, first of all. And it'll teach you a lot about Linux and how the live environment works. Well, this has been In at Zero. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe or comment. Leave me your questions, comments, or emotional outbursts below. I'll be happy to answer them as, as best I can. And I hope to see you soon with another video.